What's good everyone, it's Adam from Easy Mobile. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and recreate the pad from Girls Want Girls by Drake. Uh, it's been a minute since I posted a video. Just, uh, just want to take a little bit of break. Uh, I was getting a little bit, things were getting a little too hectic. And I just want to slow down a little bit, but we're back. Let's get to this one. We're gonna recreate the pad from Girls Want Girls by Drake. Here is the main sound from that song right here. Alright, so it's going to recreate that from scratch. We're going to create a new software instrument track. We're going to pull down this MIDI and let's solo this out right here. For this one, we're going to use Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And um, for this one, all we're going to be using is two oscillators. So we could turn off oscillator number three. Uh, we can go ahead and turn the first oscillator to a sine wave, just like that. It sounds like this. Second oscillator is going to set to a triangle wave. Kind of get like this keyboard sound. Now, since we're only using oscillators one and two, we can pull our triangle mixer right here. We'll go to about like a 50 50 split. Oh, no, there we go. Next thing we're going to do here is turn on unison to get a fuller sound. Now let's turn down the volume a bit because it gets a little louder when you turn on unison. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the analog so we get some detuning between our two oscillators. Pull it up to about like 10-ish to 11 o'clock-ish. So you hear what that does? Just like that. All right, next is pull our cutoff down. Wanted a darker sound. All right, next up, let's go ahead and pull up some FM right here. I'm just gonna pull this all the way to the side so you hear what's happening and then we'll blend the two together. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend the two sounds together. So we're just gonna bring this back quite a bit. A little bit of that sound in there, so I'm just going to pull it in a little bit, just like that. Next up, we're just going to add in some chorus. We're going to pull up our chorus to about 50%, halfway in. Get a little bit of movement there. Now we can focus in on our envelopes right over here. So the sound needs to be a little bit softer, so we're going to pull up the attack to make it a softer hit. All right, and we're just gonna pull up our release so that it just rings out a little bit after the notes are let go. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and bring in a little bit of excitement to the sound. We'll go to Specialized Exciter. And uh, just gonna add some excitement to the sound. I'm just gonna bring down the frequency a bit to 200. Change the color too and pull up the percentage. Here's what it actually is doing. Just a subtle effect right there. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and bring in some movement to the sound. We'll add in tremolo. So we'll go to modulation tremolo. It's off the screen right here. And uh, we're gonna use this one right here. So this is what it's doing to the sound. We wanna make it nice and smooth. Pull that back a bit. Just get a little bit of a wave in there. Next up, let's add in Logic's Fat Effects. And for this sound, we're gonna go ahead and just add in a soft limiter, pull that up a bit. All right, and last but not least, let's go ahead and bring in that reverb. We will be using Logic's Silver Verb. And I found a preset that works well for this sound. It is the back room right here. And 
right there you have the main pad sound from girls want girls by drake off of the certified lover boy album if you want to learn how to make any other sounds let me know in the comment section below but other than that that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something new and as usual i'll see you all in the next one later peace